Do not mind the nasally voice, I have a cold. So today I need to show off a tool that I found through JRTV. JRTV has this incredible series where he breaks down tools in three minutes on YouTube. If you haven't watched those videos yet, you should be more disappointed in yourself than usual. Now, check this out. Now, I've seen a few people talk about this tool, but I recently discovered something that makes sense for my workflow that I figured I'd share with you guys. What I'm gonna be talking about is the take selector tool. Let's say for a given sequence on our timeline, we have multiple shots that we could choose to work with. So we've got this B-roll here, B-roll here, here, and here, right? Well, the way I originally learned how to deal with multiple shots and it's probably a system that a lot of you guys still use is you stack them. So you stack your clip here, stack a clip here, stack a clip here. And then depending on what shot you like to use, you just enable and disable those clips. Well, DaVinci Resolve came up with a solution to this and it's called the Take Selector Tool. So if I delete these clips here, enable that bottom track. In order to use this, right click on the video file and go to Take Selector. It should be this bottom option here. That's gonna gray out our timeline and give us a new interface. And now what I can do is I can go up to our media pool and drag the other clips into our take selector. If I scroll down, we now have all four of our B-roll clips nested inside our take selector. So what I can do is if I want to choose a specific clip, I click it, close the take selector, and now I'm working with that shot. To reopen it, double click the icon in the bottom left corner. Again, that's this little calendar icon it looks like. Well, yes, I guess it's a calendar icon. I'm calling it the calendar icon, boop. And then we can swap to a new clip. This in itself is really cool. Uh, there's an icon here as well to where you can slide and slip footage around to have it synced up with whatever you would like. And if you wanna delete certain tracks, you can click that and hit the trash can icon. This is great. It's really cool that we can drag and drop in footage from the media pool, but it wasn't working for me. You see, the way I'm typically handed videos, and if I wanna work with multiple takes, I'm given one recorded file. So in my media pool, I have one recorded OBS file where Hector here is doing all of his voice lines. And I have two takes of the same line. This is the Pulse Check Ladder Season 1. This is the Pulse Check Ladder Season 1. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use at first, so I was like, huh, I wonder if I can make use of the take selector. So I right click on this clip here, hit take selector, and now I just want to drag this footage in, but I can't. I can only interact with the media pool. So I said, hmm, what if I stack them? Can I do something like this where I stack them, drag and select and go take selector? Nope, no good. So as far as I'm aware, and somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, the Take Selector tool is only meant to work with source media in your media pool. Meaning that if I have multiple takes on the timeline here, where well, I can't just drag and drop them into the Take Selector. So this is the solution that I came up with, and I'm aware that there's now a best take selector in DaVinci Resolve, but I'm not working with the transcript, I'm just working with one video file. So what we're gonna do is with our other take over here, we need to set the in and out points of this on the original video file in our media pool. So what I'll do is I'll go over and I'll hit Alt F or Option F if you're on Mac, which selects the video in our media pool. So if I deselect that again, Alt plus F selects it in our media pool and then Control plus F for me, this matches the in and out point of the clip on our timeline to what's in the media pool. The important thing here is that your playhead is above whatever clip is that you want to match frame to in the media pool. So again, that sequence of events is Alt F finds in the media pool and then F if you're on the default keyboard shortcuts, but for me it's Control plus F to match the frame or it matches the in and out points. Now what I can do is I can right click, take selector and because the in and out points are set in the media pool, I can then drag this into our take selector. And now I can toggle between the two takes and you'll also see it switches the audio waveforms indicating I've done it correctly. I also have the view show duplicate frames option on which is why you'll see the clip have these purple bars highlighted over it. This indicates that I am currently using the exact same footage in our take selector. So when I go to the original, we lose it, bang. I would love in the future if there was an option for us to just stack clips drag and select, right click, take selector. I understand there's a multicam tool and I understand we can make compound clips, but I think the take selector is really geared for this kind of a workflow. So just throwing that out into the universe. Black magic design, if you listen to this, this is my feedback. I hope you guys find this helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.